A Great Falls gun shop owner says he was targeted by federal agents Wednesday. In fact, he says he's been in the crosshairs of the government for a couple years now. 7.30 I came in and they pulled in behind me with 20 heavily armed agents. Tom Van Hoos says for two years his Highwood Creek Outfitters gun shop has been the subject of surveillance by state and federal agencies including the FBI, OSHA, Homeland Security, State of Montana and now the IRS. And the fact that they think we make so much money as a gun business uh, that they had to come investigate all the thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, whatever it is we supposedly absconded with. Anybody that knows the margins in the gun business knows they're not that high. Van Hoos says all he was told is that his business had been reported. He doesn't know by who. He thinks it's part of a nationwide pattern and feels it's political. I can only assume that because of the style of weapons that we have and the press that's so against them, um, the current administration seems to be hell-bent on getting those guns out of the hands of average Americans. Tom says the agents were cordial and professional, but still felt invaded and now has lost nearly a whole day's revenue. I got 30 minutes of operating time in and made one $16 sale. Van Hoos says his shop has a good relationship with the ATF, which was also present. He says because his shop carries fun guns like AR-15s and AK-47s, their level of licensing draws more scrutiny. We have a reputation as, as dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's because there's so much legal fun to be had it's, it's just not worth doing things that are going to get you in trouble. Cascade County Sheriff Jesse Slaughter says despite previous legislative attempts, there is no law stating the sheriff must be notified prior to any such investigation. The Great Falls Police Department was notified of the investigation and provided security. An IRS spokesperson was only able to confirm the agency was at Highwood Creek on official business. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.